most people take away from the Edan Prize Summit that education is poised for great change in the next 50 years. And this change will help make education more available to every person around the world. And that we will come away from the summit dedicated to helping to make this possible. And to embracing all of the technologies to make possible improvement of education that we desperately need in the next 50 years. I think the most urgent need to address is inequality. The fact that very high quality educations are available to some people in the world. For others, they're not so available. It's clear that the requirements for education are increasing and to address the needs for a, an educated workforce, every country is going to have to rely not just on its elites, but on people who traditionally have not been part of the elite labor force. The Edan Prize will help me by giving me a greater platform to raise the profile of scientifically based research and education and its importance in making education policy and improving education practice. I think that one thing that a prize like this does is remind everyone that education is important and that the way to improve it is through systematic investigation in the same way we've improved other endeavors of modern life. I think moving forward, schools and universities are going to be quite different places. They're going to utilize technology in different ways than they do today. But I think the skill of being able to work with other people, to cooperate, to do multidisciplinary work in which different members of teams have different skills is going to be increasingly important. And we're going to have to learn to work together from multiple perspectives on those problems if we want to have any chance of succeeding. What I would urge students to do is develop a broad knowledge of many different aspects of academic life and to do so with the idea that those are going to be foundations for learning throughout their life. We're all going to have to be lifetime learners and we need to develop the skills and the inclinations to continue to learn throughout our lives because that's going to be the key to a productive life in the future.